making this video um, for individuals um, that are pregnant, that are expectant mothers, and um, and for those that are interested in pregnancy, and you know, you don't have to be a woman to be interested in pregnancy. You could be a man, uh, an expectant father, uh, expectant uncle, grandfather, etc. And so you can so you'll know what what the woman is going through um, during this time period, this during this critical time period, actually. Um, so the question I ask, basically, let's start from the beginning. Can you be pregnant? How can you know that you are pregnant, or if your wife is pregnant, your girlfriend is pregnant? Your um, your sister is pregnant. Your loved one is pregnant. Your nephew, uh, your nephew will be an expectant father. So let's say your, I don't know, your your niece is going to be pregnant, etc. So there are top ten signs that a person, that a woman, can be pregnant. Okay, I'm going to list them from one to ten, um, starting from the starting from the least sign to the most important sign, and I'm going to divulge and diverge. Um, on those signs. Okay, so the first, the um, one is tender, swollen breasts. Uh, second is fatigue. Third is implantation and bleeding. Fourth is nausea and vomiting. Fifth is increased sensitivity to odors. Next is abdominal bloating. Next is frequent urination. Next is a missed period. Next is um, nasal body temperature stays high. And finally, the most positive uh, proof is a home pregnancy test that can either be done, you know, by um, at home or done at a physician's office. Now let's let's talk about the different uh, signs and symptoms. Okay, so for the for tender, swollen breasts, um, basically uh, one of the is that one of the early signs of pregnancy. It's when your your sensitive sore breasts caused by increased levels of hormones, and uh, the soreness may feel. Um, that uh, it's something that's actually like lumpy and whatnot. So um, basically, uh, it can cause by increased, as I said, it's caused by increased levels of hormones. The soreness may feel like an exaggerated version of how your breasts feel like you, when you, before you period. Your discomfort should diminish significantly um, after the first trimester, as your body will become adjusted to the hormonal changes. Right? Okay. So the next sign is fatigue. Basically, um, are you feeling tired all of a sudden? Um, um, or are you feeling exhausted? Basically, uh, some physicians say that it's you know you don't no one really knows for sure what causes early pregnancy fatigue, but it's possible that rapidly increasing levels of hormone uh, progesterone are contributing to your sleepiness, and you should start to feel more energetic once you hit your second trimester. <clears throat> Although fatigue usually returns late in the pregnancy, when you're carrying around a lot more weight, and some of the uh, some of the common discomforts of pregnancy make it a lot uh, more difficult to get a good night's sleep. Th uh, a third sign is implantation and bleeding. So some women have a small amount of vaginal bleeding around uh, 10 to 11, 11 to 12 days after conception, which is close to the time you might notice a missed period. And the bleeding may be caused by the fertilized egg burrowing into the uh, blood-rich lining of, u of your uterus. It's a process that starts just six days after the fertilization, but no one... Um, really knows for sure. We can only know this through um, clinical trials, but ex vitro, not really inside the woman's uterus. You know, it's impossible to do that. Um, the bleeding is very light, appearing as light spotting or pink or reddish brown staining, and lasts only a day or two. Let, um, so it, if, make sure to let your practitioner know if you notice any bleeding or spotting, particularly if it's accompanied by pain, since this can be a sign of ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy is when um, the fertilized ovum actually implants not in the uteral lining, but actually in the fallopian tube. And this is very, very bad because um, some women, uh, some people, sometimes we misdiagnose this actually. Um, I've read reports and like my professor told me before that in sometimes ectopic pregnancy, they can mis misinterpret this <clears throat> as having some kind of wrong, like a pancreatitis or like a, just inflammation of your colon and whatnot. But actually it's it actually is an ectopic pregnancy, and if this is untreated or uncorrected, um, the child, the ovum will grow in the uh, in the um, your uh, fallopian tube, and it will grow and it will explode uh, if it continues to blow, and it will cause massive hemorrhage. Um, can lead to the uh, it can lead to a fatal consequence uh, if untreated or unchecked. So make sure you get that checked, okay? Okay. The next sign is nausea or vomiting. So if you're like most women. 
morning sickness won't hit you until about a month after conception. So, but some women do start to feel queasy uh, a bit early, and not just in the morning either. Uh, Pregnancy-related or nausea and vomiting can be a problem morning, noon, or night. So, about half of women with nausea feel completely relief by the beginning of the second trimester. Okay, so for most for most others, it takes like another month or so for the queasiness to ease up. Okay, so the next sign is increased sensitivity to odors. So if you're newly pregnant, it is not uncommon to feel repelled by the smell of a bologna sandwich or a cup of coffee or for certain aromas to trigger your gag reflex. So though no one knows for sure, this may be a side effect of rapidly increasing amounts of estrogen in your system, which may also um, also find the certain foods you used to enjoy as suddenly completely repulsive to you. Okay, so this is these are nothing but hormonal changes. Um, you know, because estrogen is necessary, uh, progesterone is necessary to maintain the pregnancy, and estrogen is, main is necessary to develop your breast, your mammary glands. For for you know, to the body basically is expecting the baby to come out, and the baby um, right now um, is your as you know, as if it's inside your uterus, it's it's directly getting nutrients from mom. You know, it's getting everything from mommy, all the blood supply, the all the of uh, nutrients, it's perfusing through the mom's mom's blood system to the baby and that's how like it's actually getting uh, the baby actually attaches itself to the mother's uteral arter arteral supply and as this happens uh, the mother's body is saying oh no what is this this so there's a parasite there's something in my you know in my st in the uterus what is this and the baby actually gets the mother's IgG uh, immunoglobulins it basically says uh, basically mother's IgG goes to the bo goes to the baby and it protects it and basically this IgG coats the baby and it tells the mother's immune system and, and immune body that, oh my goodness, this this little thing is actually not an organ, it's not a parasite, it's actually part of me. It's it's you know it's my it's it's my substance. So the mother doesn't attack it, and instead the mother, the body actually, says, oh goodness, this is going to this child or this or this fetus is going to get out of my stomach soon. So I better I better develop something to feed it. So that as a response, it's going to develop estrogen. Your body will increase estrogen levels. Estrogen causes your your breasts to develop, it causes lactation to to be stimulated. The process, lactatology, to sti to be stimulated. Basically, your mammary glands increase, and all those um, uh, what will become milk is being circulated. And as soon as partition occurs, when the baby comes out, um, the estrogen levels will, uh, the progesterone levels will decrease, and this will stimulate the lactation of the milk. That's why uh, the milk. That's why mother's breast, a, a, a newly uh, uh, delivered mother. Um, will have really, really, really um, bloated breasts, and the baby's first response is to suckle, because it's it's, a, it's an evolutionary trait, you know. Like the baby comes out, and mother's breast is need, needs to be released of that milk. It causes pressure. The baby suckles, releases, and and also it's interesting because a child's first response is to suckle. When you if you touch, if you tickle your, a baby's cheeks, its first response is to turn its head towards the the stimulus and suckle, because you know it, it needs food. This is interesting. The way God developed this is very amazing. Okay, so the next um, sign is abdominal bloating. Okay, so hormonal changes in early pregnancy may leave you to feeling bloated, similar to the feeling of some women having just been before um, you know their period arrives. That's why your clothes may feel snugger than you usual at the waistline, even though even early on when your uterus is still quite small. So frequent urination is another sign. Shortly after you become pregnant, you may find yourself hurrying to the bathroom all the time. You ask yourself, why? Mostly because during pregnancy, the amount of blood and other fluids in your body increases, which leads to extra fluid being processed by your kidneys and ending up in your bladder. This symptom may start as early as six weeks into your first trimester and continue to worsen as your pregnancy and uh, pregnancy progresses and your growing baby exerts more pressure on your bladder. <laughs> uh, the next uh, sign and symptom is a missed period. So basically, if you're usually pretty regular and your regular and your period uh, doesn't arrive on time, you'll probably take a pregnancy test long before you notice any of the above symptoms. But if you're not regular or not keeping in track with your cycle, nausea and breast tenderness and your extra trips to the bathroom may be a signal for you that pregnancy you are actually there, you know. So the next the next sign of symptoms is your basal body temperature retaining a high temperature. So if you notice, uh, if, you, if you've been charting your basal body temperature, you will see that your temperature has stayed elevated for 18 days in a row, and you're probably pregnant. And the last and final proof that you are pregnant is a positive home pregnancy test. Just say, well, take a right, go to Rite Aid, go to um, 
go to ShopRite, go to CVS, or anything, any any home healthcare store.